guys welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be trying the bobum bean cold brew coffee maker i got this at walmart for $14.88 and i'll leave the link down below but i'm going to show you the contents that comes in it we're going to go ahead and set this puppy up and then tomorrow morning we are going to try the coffee what it comes with is a scoop the press for the cold brew and the top and here's the thing that it pours out of. It also comes with the actual um, Bobum cup and the lid. Now I'm gonna angle my camera to where you can see this whole thing here in just a second. But to put in it, I got some French vanilla coffee from Walmart. This is just ground coffee. I'm gonna put probably about a cup in this bucket um to see how strong it gets it because i like a really nice coffee flavor so i'm gonna put about a cup in here but i'm gonna angle the camera a different way and then show you how to do this all right so here's the um pot i washed it because we don't want the coronavirus and then here is my cold brew coffee that i'm gonna be using i'm gonna use a cup and I'm not going to use this little thing because that would take a lot to make a cup. I've got a half cup measuring spoon. We actually might not make a full cup. I'm not. I might see what half a cup looks like. So here's my little measuring spoon. Half a cup may actually be plenty. And you just... Dump it in. I may do just a jab bit more. Okay. And after you do that, you are ready for your water. That's what it looks like down at the bottom. It's just a nice layer. Uh, I feel like that's not going to be enough coffee flavor. If you hear them talking in the background, I'm sorry. So I've already pre-done some water in a little pitcher here. And it works best with cold water. That's what I have here. It's just cold water, and we're going to pour it in. Looks a little weird. Okay, poured it in. I've got a long spoon. I'm just going to stir it. And it, the two lids that it comes with is one so you can... Um, put it in the fridge so it doesn't have that big so you don't have this big thing all the way in it and then you also get this lid which is flat and what we're going to use so I'm going to move it so you guys can see and we'll put this lid on it for today I'll put it in the fridge and tomorrow when I go to take some in the morning we're going to see how many grounds we get in it and if this thing is really worth it. Okay, so it is the next morning. It's probably been here for about 16 hours. There's Charlie right there. Um, but now we take the lid off. cleaned up our little mishap we're gonna take the sifter and that's what this is right here it's supposed to sift all of the grains the coffee grounds and stuff like that to the bottom it's supposed to push it and i don't know if it's gonna work because you can see that i've got like coffee grounds at the lip can you tell it's monday morning <laughs> so <laughs> we're now going to place the sifter, make sure <clears throat> that this is all the way up and not pressed down because this is how you're going to sift your coffee. And I'm going to keep it up. And it locks into place so that it doesn't spill out. And now I'm going to kind of show you. We're going to slowly push it down and I'm going to see if I can get the camera at it so you can kind of see. So give me just a second. Okay. So I 
pushed it all to the bottom and what I could tell there was just a few of the um, little beans or grounds that I went to the top but that's <clears throat> probably gonna be typical and now we're gonna make the coffee this is what I'm really excited about I, my sister's Dunkin Donuts cup don't tell her I put some ice in it and I've got for creamer I'm gonna use this brand new vanilla caramel coffee creamer I've never had this before so we're gonna try it and to pour the coffee I didn't show so I will show you just hold this little tab down and it opens up the lip and that's how you pour your coffee so enjoy this aesthetically pleasing pouring of coffee <music> some for tomorrow as well and whenever it comes to the coffee part when it comes to the coffee part it's nice and dark um, kind of looked like tea whenever I was first pouring it but that's all right and as far as the grounds go there's not really any there's a few from where I had it on the cup where I had that little mishap at the beginning of this um, segment but now let's just add our creamer and then we'll try it. All right, so I've got my coffee. I think I put a little bit too much creamer in it because I was watching it through my camera. Oh, Charlie's gonna top me off a little bit with more coffee. And we're gonna try this. I'm gonna convince Charlie to try it too so we can see if this is, okay, that's good. Thank you. Yeah. So I'm excited to try this. If you don't know me, I love coffee. And with my new job that I have that I've had for a almost a year, um, I don't have a Dunkin' Donuts near me. And that's what I lived off of whenever I worked at the hospital. Um, <laughs> so I love coffee. Anytime I can make it at home and put it in the fridge, I do. But cold brew has such a different flavor to it. So I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it first. Can you shake it? Um, yeah. yeah. All right. So here's the finished stirred product. Um, I love coffee. Coffee's great. So let's just try it. That's good. So I did definitely did put a little bit too much creamer in it. For you, you did. For me. Because I like the coffee taste. Like, that's what I like. But I'm going to have Charlie try it on camera. And we'll see what he thinks. So now I'm being forced on camera to drink this stuff. Truly really not that bad, but we'll try it and see. I could drink that. Is that good? Yeah, it's got the creamer in it that I like that you don't like. Well, correction, you do like. I just like more of it than you do, but it is good. Um, I don't like iced coffee, but my my taste buds have changed. I guess I don't know, but I used to never like iced coffee, and this ain't that bad. So, thumbs up. All right, so now that both of us have tried it and we like it, um, I think what I would do a little bit different now that I've tried it the first time is I think I would probably add, instead of a half, a half of a cup, mm, that coffee's got me tore up. Yes. Instead of a half of a cup of grounds into this, I would probably put a cup because I like that really strong coffee flavor. But for Charlie, I think that he would like it. So I for, a little stronger. He could, he just said he could take a little stronger. So, um, the Bodum, 
coffee cold brew cup I think it would be worth $14.88 now that's if you decide that you know you want iced coffee instead of having to wait for it to cool down in the fridge or instead of watering it down with a bunch of ice to make it cold I think this is a great alternative to iced coffee and you could also if you didn't want to put normal ice cubes in it you could make your cold brew put them into ice cubes put the cold brew ice cubes in your coffee that's another alternative so I think this is definitely worth $14.88 um you can experiment with your flavor taste but overall I'm very satisfied with this product and I would definitely recommend it to my cold coffee lovers so 10 out of 10 recommend the Bodum coffee cold brew maker so if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't already, like, comment, subscribe to my channel. Make sure you hit that post notification button. That way you get notified every time I upload new videos. And until next time, stay cool and be you. Bye.